Welcome back, sweeties. So episode three kicks off right where episode two left us hanging. Q coming up with this insane idea, telling Mean to kidnap him and demand ransom from his dad. Like, really? Q and Mean's over here just staring at him, completely done with all the chaos. I mean, you can see it on his face. Like, bro, are you serious right now? And then Q, being his usual cheeky self, drops that line, you said, I've already seen your face and I know where you live. If I come for you, there's no way you'll get away. Bro, is that supposed to be a threat or just his way of teasing me? Either way, I'm here for the drama. Meanwhile, Q is over there blending in with Mean's brother like they've been friends for years. I'm like, hold up, isn't this dude supposed to be kidnapped? And then Mean wakes up, hands tied to that cute dog doll, and for a second, I thought Q had escaped again. Like, seriously, how many times is this guy gonna try? But nope. There he is, chilling and playing with men like it's just another day. I love how casual they're making this whole kidnapping situation. It's kinda hilarious. Then BAME, James shows up. I was like, uh-oh, this is about to go south real fast. Q, who is supposed to be dead, is just sitting there, cool as a cucumber. Mean looks like he's about to pass out from panic. And then James, he's like, relax, I know the blood was fake. Dude, what? I wasn't ready for that. He's so calm, it's almost scary. And to top it off, James actually overheard Q telling Mean to ask for ransom, and now he's trying to convince Mean to go through with it. What is happening? Why is everyone so chill with this ransom idea? and Q just casually walked up to ask Mean, is this the guy that helped you to kidnap me? Like it's no big deal. And Mean is like, don't just let anyone into the house. Don't trust anyone, not even me. I love that Mean is being all protective now, but also how did we get here? Q is like, can you hurt anyone? Even a stray dog at the front of 7-Eleven is scarier than you. I get it Q. How can a kidnapper tell his victim to be careful? Speaking of Mean, he's clearly starting to care a lot about Q. I mean, what kind of kidnapper is he at this point? Q isn't even scared of him. And that moment where Q has another one of those nightmares and Mean is all soft, comforting him. It was low-key adorable. You can really see how much Mean is starting to worry about Q. These two are so not in a regular hostage situation anymore. And then there's Q casually sleeping in Mean's bed. Like he owns the place. I couldn't help but laugh because isn't he supposed to be kidnapped? How is he this comfortable? It's both weird and kind of cute at the same time. These guys are forgetting their roles completely. Oh, in the bathroom scene. So awkward, but funny. I mean, poor guy literally falls asleep while brushing his teeth. I couldn't stop laughing. He's been staying up all night watching over Q to stop him from sleepwalking, and now he's exhausted. And the whole no privacy thing between them, it's like they've completely forgotten they're supposed to be kidnapper and they kidnapped. They're acting like a couple at this point. And it's honestly hilarious how natural they are with each other but of course means real life comes crashing back in. He goes back to work as a stuntman and you can see he's totally distracted. He messes up his job, forgetting he's even acting and just takes things way too far. James notices immediately, poor mean. He's dealing with so much and now he might lose his job because of all this stress. It doesn't help that he needs money to pay back the people who hired him to kill Q since he couldn't get the job done. Things are just getting worse for him. And then we get another one of those classic stares between Mean and Q. Q's feeling all guilty because Mean might lose his job because of him. And Mean is just gone. He's so smitten. There's no way out for him now. And that moment when Q tends to his wound, acting all cute, Mean cannot handle it. You can literally see it in his eyes. He's a goner, he's so into Q and it's adorable. But then Q, being Q, spots Mean's bank book and realizes he is in serious financial trouble. So of course, Q brings up the ransom thing again. He's like, come on, let's do it. 
And Mean is just sitting there shaking his head. He doesn't get why Q wants to involve his dad. And then Q hits us with the big reveal. Revenge. This whole ransom thing is Q's way of getting back at his dad. Now I'm sitting here dying to know what happened between Q and his father. What's this revenge about? Mean being mean goes right back to the loan sharks. Why mean why? and they direct him to some other place where he's given this sketchy no interest loan. Turns out these new guys are in a way connected to Q's case, the same people who might have wanted Q dead. They'd not see that coming. They give him a deal that sounds too good to be true. No need to repay the loan as long as he works as a bodyguard. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Then Mean sets up a meeting with James to return the money he got for the kidnapping job, but Q overhears and insists on tagging along. Mean's like, nope, not happening. They want you dead, remember. But of course, Q doesn't listen. This boy always has a plan up his sleeve. Turns out the guy who hired Mean as a bodyguard isn't the same one who wanted Q kidnapped. Plot twist. It's some other guy who's mad at Q's dad because his son got arrested. Bold Q shows up acting all strong but low-key, very afraid, and with everything that went down, makes everything make more sense. Q has been pushing for this ransom idea because he thinks it'll make his dad drop the case. No wonder he's been so stressed and having nightmares. He's been through this kind of mess before, but honestly, the best part. Mean comforting Q when he's all panicked and freaked out. That's when you really see how much Mean cares, and in the end, he agrees to the ransom plan. It's clear now he's willing to do whatever it takes to protect Q. The chemistry between them is so obvious, and it's actually kind of sweet how far Mean's come from the start of the series. Honestly, this episode really starts shifting the relationship between Mean and Q. It's no longer just a kidnapping situation. It's more personal now. Mean's growing attachment to Q is so obvious. And the way Q is just completely comfortable in Mean's world, even though he's supposed to be the victim, is hilarious and cute at the same time. But beyond the cuteness, there's some serious tension brewing with all the secrets, betrayals and deals happening in the background. I'm excited to see how Mean handles this mess because let's be real, things are about to get a lot more complicated. Me and Q's relationship is definitely changing and I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Will Mean be able to protect Q? Will Q's plan work? Ugh, I have so many questions and the drama is just getting better and better. Episode 4 can't come soon enough. What do you think, guys? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for tuning in, sweeties, and I'll see you in my next video.